Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Young Tone. I'm back with another video. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how OZ makes beats for Drake. I'm gonna show you from scratch how I made this kind of Drake style sample and flipped it and show you guys how I made the drums. But before we get started, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to join the family and join the community we're building here on YouTube. Also make sure to run up my Instagram, link will be in the description. Now without further ado, let's get straight to it. So firstly, I picked this one shot from a Duke Clay one shot kit and I went and laid these chords in right here. And to that, I added a portal with this pop preset where I turned the mix down to right about under 50%. And then I added this H delay from Waves with the dynamic chorus preset. And here's what it sounds like now. Then the next thing I did, I opened up Contact and I went to this Oliver Arnold Stratus Contact Bank and I picked this synth looped rhythm shorts preset and I went ahead and laid the same exact chords. So that sounded kind of bare, so I added a few effects. First, I added this J37 with the Aquarium preset. I then went in waves and added this Kaleidoscopes and I picked this Vocals preset and finally used a portal with the delay preset, again, turning down the mix to like right above 50%. Here's what it sounds like now with the effects. So this plugin Kaleidoscopes from Waves is some real sauce. It adds like a lot of like really, really dope like textures. Then I went to this XY Nothing kit and I picked this uh, kind of like texture one shot and here's what it sounds like. So I really fuck with that. It added like a really cool texture and a really cool bounce. And then finally I added some vocals. I'm pretty sure these were from the same XY Nothing kit and here's what they sound like. So I had to pitch them up 100 cents so that they match the key of the sample and I had to kind of chop them so that they would be like on time. But here's what they sound like. So to that, I added a pitch wheel to pitch it up one whole octave. And then I added this bandpass narrow EQ to cut some of the highs and some of the lows, make it sound kind of like underwater. And if you notice, I turned the volume by quite a lot on this one, because that was kind of going to be more in the background. And then this is the main vocal. The main vocal is the same exact vocal sample. It's just that this one, I reversed it and I added a different set of effects. So I'm going to play without the effects so you get an idea what it sounds like. So yeah, it sounds dope. You'll see later on with the chords, it sounds really cool. So I added a little Ultra Boy pitching down the foreman down to like negative 4.5. Well, really not pitching it down, but you know, I just reduced the foreman. Then I added this pitch wheel, pitching it up one whole octave. A few EQs here and there, bandpass narrow, the same thing as the other vocal texture. And then a Valhalla room with this large room reverb preset, turning on the mix to like 20%. And yeah, here's what it sounds like with the effects. So what I actually ended up doing was automating the pitch wheel mix so that I would have one part where the, the vocals would be at the normal pitch and then one part would be where the vocals are pitched one whole octave. So I'm gonna play you guys the whole sample. Well, I did render out the sample. Uh, let me just, I actually added these two percussion loops, one from an XY nothing one shot kit and one from the only one percussion kit. I added just a bandpass narrow EQ as I usually do, and this is what it sounds like. Really for some texture and a bit of bounce. And then finally rendered the whole sample out, but just before I added this uh, Abbey Road Chambers from Waves with this mirrored room doubler uh, preset. As you can see, I turned the reverb and the dry and wet knob quite a lot. I think actually the reverb knob is automatically turned down, but I did turn the dry and wet knob to like around about 30% or so. And I added a pitch wheel just to pitch it down two semitones. And yeah, I'm gonna play you guys the full sample. Thank you. 
So now I'm gonna show you guys how I made the drums. So I first started with these two snares layered together. Then I added this open hat. I added this like crash open hat type of thing that starts on the one. I have this accent uh, open hat. And then I have the hi-hats. Very, very simple. Then I got the kicks right here. And finally, I have the 808s. And yeah, with the sample, this is the final beat. Young So yeah guys, that's it from this video. I hope you guys could learn one or two things from it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. As always, let me know what you guys would want to see in the next videos down in the comments. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.